feel like it's been a while. What is going on everybody on the fantastic place I love to call YouTube and I don't I'm not the only one who calls it YouTube. I believe the people who actually run it call it YouTube. How are you guys doing? It's been a spell since I was here and you were there. I mean, I'm sure you can go back and watch old videos and get that same kind of experience, but it didn't happen recently in the last couple weeks. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna make a video, if you can't tell, because we're kind of doing that right now. And the plain and simple fact of today's video is I just need to tell you guys what I've been doing. I got a bunch of crap over there on my table, which really doesn't mean I've been doing anything, but there's stuff over there and it might allude to other things. I don't know. Let's give you an update on the fish. I've changed a couple things in terms of filtration, which might lead to another video. But the main thing is, is I just missed you guys. I did. I did. I've missed you guys. I've been a little busy doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You guys might not know, but I got a baby coming in the next... At the longest, it's going to be a week from today. I've got one. I've got another one coming. And I got 7,000... 600 of you out there, all part of my fantastic family. Good to be back. Welcome. Let's get to talking about things and fish, water, tanks, stuff. All right, let's start by showing you some of the fishes. I'm going to tell you guys, we've got a bunch of new fish. We got rid of a bunch of old fish. That's not true. The fish that were in the last video are still in the fish room. I have a tendency to do that where I just tend to keep fish in aquariums for extended periods of time. I like it, it works for me, and I get to see my fish grow and flourish and they really become part of my family. But all the fish are doing fantastic, but I can't just say that, I have to physically show you guys. You guys need proof. All right, so let's talk about the fish. Let's go right here. Let's start on the spinning chair. Where this chair stops, we will talk. This might go a while. Slowing down. Oh, oh, I thought it was going to be a Zool. Sorry, buddy. I think we're pointing at some uh, Feste action. So let's start with the Feste. Show you the Feste. Let's go over there. <laughs> so over in our 29 gallon over here, we have a group of four ex Cyclosoma Feste. We have a couple bristly nose Plecostomus in there as well to keep the tank looking clean. And let me just tell you something, the Feste are doing fantastic. Best way to show you how these Feste look is to throw some food in the aquarium. So let's do that by grabbing this giant tub of food. This is not all for them, although if they want it, they can have it. All right, we're gonna open our lid, like so. There's our beautiful male Feste and his pretty female. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And let's get them food in the tank. We're just gonna go should come out and eat because they be beasts. I'm pretty freaking excited about these Feste because one, I've got a male, I've got a female. They appear to like each other, which usually leads to a cyclic pair. And when that happens, eventually they spawn, they create more fish. We're just gonna say that those guys might be some mainstays in this fish room for a long time to come. Because I'm, I'm super, super duper pumped about them. They're gonna look amazing. By the way, while I was gone, if you guys don't know this, I post some pictures on the Instagram. So if while I'm not posting YouTube videos, you still want to confirm the fact that I'm still living, go over, follow me on Instagram, maybe you'll like the Facebook page as well, where I post some pictures and go go like those pictures, comment, say cool, or like wow, or like well, fish. Next stop in the wonderful world of fish updates, we'll talk about some gorillas. We've only got two in this aquarium because we moved Mr. Hulk's buddy back with Hulk. So now Hulk's buddy is back to being Hulk's buddy. Posted on the Facebook page a guesstimation on how big this guy is in comparison to Hulk. This fish is a confirmed 10 inches long, 
So it just kind of gives you guys a general estimation in terms of the sheer size the hook is. Over here, with these two, I've got these two nicely divided in their aquarium. Beautiful Miss Jane, awesome studly Mr. Tarzan. They're looking amazing. Now as awesome as these gorillas may be, I think we're going to be stuck with the divider long term. So if they do decide to spawn, he's basically got to make it across onto her side. Otherwise, I don't think we're going to be seeing these two as kind of like a cohesive pair. Take the divider out, he rips her up, she rips him up. When I had the three dividers broke down, he ripped the crap out of this guy back here. So it's just a volatile situation. It's best to just have secure dividers and it just makes things simpler. And for some reason, these two get along amazingly. I don't get it, it doesn't make any sense. You've got a very dominant fish in Hulk. You have a fish that is known for its aggression in the Umbriferum. And for some reason, they just get each other. So, and, and it works, and I love it. I love it. I think they missed each other. Now you guys might notice a little bit of different filtration. I've kind of shifted away from the ultimate filters that are kind of a moving bed with some biological media in there as well. It's kind of like a combo filter. And I'm doing more of a large moving bed filter and a larger just biological media filter. If you guys would like me to show you how to make this filter, which is pretty freaking awesome, just write down in the comments this exact phrase. Show us how to make that filter. Really simple, I really like it. It was a cool idea. It gets my filter off the ground. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because if you guys want me to show you, I'll talk about it in that video, but it's pretty awesome. We did it in that tank, that tank, also in that tank where we just got a moving bed filter along with a larger filter with the biological media. All right, moving on down, let's sit on the floor here, to our awesome Chancho and Argentia roommates. These guys are gonna need their own tanks because they're getting pretty large. Chancho, probably getting over six inches. Argentia, quickly catching up to the Chancho. I got the Chancho, he was bigger than the Argentia. Now the Argentia is catching up to the Chancho. It's very exciting. And outside of the fact that they're an amazing fish with incredible potential, and I love them very much, there's not anything else to say, so let's just show you the fish. Azul right now is that he's getting thick. If you can't tell right there, front on, dude's getting thick. He's probably three inches thick. Probably weighs 42 pounds. Would be a world record bass in the state of Wisconsin. But he's a beast. I love him. I like he's one of my own. As a matter of fact, I shouldn't even say that. He is one of my own. I'm gonna stop talking. You guys can observe the monster blue freckled monster. Cacatea on roof room. Azul. <laughs> size estimate on Azul right now, he's probably 16 inches plus. I got him when he was about this big. Pretty crazy stuff when you think about it. I had him since like June of 2012. It's been a while, YouTube, that that fish has been in here with me, and I love it. And before I let you guys go, let's show you a little bit of Hulk action with his little buddy. We're gonna skip the specs today because I think my camera is gonna die, and I wouldn't want to jump over there and you guys miss Hulk. Sadly, the specs are awesome, Hulk's cooler. A little bit about Hulk lately, he applied for a job, uh, he was in an office, didn't necessarily work. They weren't willing to accommodate the fact that he requires some sort of filtration and an aquarium who can't write or type and has no formal education. It was a pretty bad idea to set him up in the interview anyways. 
But he's doing great. He's got his little buddy in here to just play with. It's little, like a little toy. This 10-inch fish is like a toy to Hulk because he's that monstrosity. Monstrous. Ladies and gentlemen, Hulk. <laughs> gonna die I love you guys I've missed you guys hopefully we can start doing some videos with some more frequency like I said I got a baby coming so that might not be a guarantee but it was great to sit down when I'm standing and just hang out with you guys get back in the swing of things of this thing I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore we will see you guys next time make sure you go over like the Facebook page follow me on Instagram because sometimes I take sabbaticals from YouTube but I post stuff elsewhere interesting the fish say welcome back. Honestly, they bug me more to show to you guys because they like their famousness more than you guys even know. Back to rambling. We'll see you guys next time. Piece of advice today is if you're mowing your lawn, don't put your head under the blades. Bad idea. Unless the mower's off and there's something you need to look at over there. Peace out, YouTube. I love you guys. See you later. We're talking about stuff, doing stuff. See you next time.